What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel Pete's Carport and before I get started I wanted to let you guys know I'm gonna be using the new GoPro 360 Max which I got for Christmas Hopefully you guys had an awesome Christmas as well And I want to know in the comments what you guys think of the new footage the new sound moving forward I'm hoping to bring you guys better videos on this channel So let's talk about what we're gonna be doing today. So behind me is my 1995 Mercedes s500 your guys's favorite car my favorite car and I want to get back to daily driving it but there are a few things that I've been needing to fix for a little while now and one of them the main thing is we're in Florida I don't have any AC right now because my blower motor stopped working and I'm almost positive it is the resistor for the blower motor a very common thing that happens and some of the things that could happen is you just don't get any air that blows out sometimes you'll only get air maybe the middle vent or the side vents um, there could be other issues related to that as well or your AC is just not working at all so I always say start with your blower motor resistor it's easy to access the parts like 30 bucks uh, and it's an easy swap out you can do in less than a day so let's get over here and talk about that and I'll show you guys the part that we're gonna be using okay so this is the part I went ahead and ordered this is the cheaper replacement one I do recommend uh, getting the bare mall one that you can get for right around 60 this one cost me 30 they did not have the other one in stock at the time and this one was readily available I thought I was gonna do it before I headed out on vacation but uh, now that I'm getting around to doing it, it looks like they got them back in stock but this is the part number for this one I have used this one before on one of the older s 500s I had and this worked out great I didn't have any issues for the year so I ran it a lot of people complain about them burning out but we're gonna run with it it's an easy part to replace only takes a few probably 30 minutes to replace the whole thing this one comes with all the wiring as you can see here it looks identical to the one that we're going to be taking out it also comes uh, with your dielectric grease here so that way you can grease the bottom part here I'm going to show you guys that now because we're going to pull the other one out we're going to test our blower motor as well as install our new resistor so the first thing you want to do before starting this project is disconnect the negative battery cable because you are going to be accessing electric components that could have a charge to them. Next thing is get your hood up. If you have a W140 like this or many Mercedes, you can open up the latch completely. There are buttons on either side. If you have any questions about that, let me know in the comments. It's fairly easy and you can see it allows you to access these back areas here much easier. So the next thing you need is a Phillips screwdriver. I'm going to be using a drill, just makes it a lot easier and you're going to want to access your Phillips screws here, here, and here. And uh, I think there's one on the other end there. And then we're gonna pop off this line right here. We're just gonna use a flathead screwdriver and that will allow us to pull this up. It's actually gonna allow us to access our cabin filter and it only takes a few seconds to do. In the past, on the past video I did, I actually made a video when I first started YouTube on changing this out. And for some reason, I thought I had to take out all these torque screws and I took them all out. It ended up being beneficial to me because I need to clean out all the dirt that was up in that channel anyways. So if it is something you want to do, keep in mind there's a lot of those screws. So let's go ahead. I'm going to get set up and get those Phillips head screws out. We're going to prop up our piece and then we're going to access where the blower motor resistor is and where the blower motor is. So now that we've got the panel off, you're able to access your cabin filter. I suggest either cleaning this out, which is what I'm going to do, or replacing it at this time. Mine was replaced not too long ago, so I'm just going to dust it out, make sure it's nice and clean. I'm going to set that off to the side. Now you can access your blower motor, which is up underneath this assembly here. And this is the piece that we're going to be changing, which is your blower motor resistor. Very simple to take out, which I'm going to show you in a second. But first, I want to test our blower motor because if the blower motor is bad and you try to replace this it could be frustrating you'll know if your resistor is bad if the blower motor kicks on when testing it with a battery so I've got my battery down here we're gonna run a positive negative to that we're gonna pull our negative positive off of our blower motor and we're gonna tap those on there and see if the fan comes on so let's go ahead and do that so we're gonna put our negative here and tap our positive and you can see our blower motor kicks on so that's good news because this is not enabling the blower motor to kick on because there's something faulty within this. 
Now, signs of this going faulty could be uh, your AC not kicking on, your middle vents not working. Uh, this sends various signals to your blower motor to tell it to kick on different speeds and so forth. So this is your least expensive part to first try out. Uh, and then you might have to move on to control panel, removing your blower motor, changing out the brushes. We're not gonna do any of that on this video. We're gonna focus on just replacing our resistor. So let's go ahead and take this unit out. We're gonna need a Torx bit here. I'll get you the size on that. And we're gonna pull these wires apart. Very simple. I went inside the car, put it back together, put the negative cable back on the battery, and went ahead and started up the car. And you can see, I've got air now. So blower motor is working. Come outside and show you guys. It's going low and high, which is, means that it's functioning correctly. And I don't know if you can hear it, but down in there. Well guys, it's several days later because we had New Year's, which by the way, Happy New Year's. And I took a little break from it. And ironically, my AC stopped working again. And I believe it's the control panel. In fact, I'm pretty sure it's the control panel because there's nothing on it. It actually completely went out. And what was happening was, uh, the control panel was flickering on and off. I started to tap the side. It went completely off. I pulled the entire thing out, plugged it back in, got it to come on for another day, and then it went out again. So now I've got to go ahead and change my control panel out. But I wanted this video to be solely focused on the blower motor resistor, and I hope this helps somebody out there that needs to change out their resistor. Of course, I'm going to go ahead and order in a new control panel, see what I can come up with, and I'll fill you guys in on another video. But once again, guys, my name's Pete. This is Pete's Carport. I hope you enjoyed another great video on the W140. Let's try to keep them on the road, and once again, you guys have an awesome day.